Today we're going to be tackling the question, can depression be cured without medication? How's it going guys? Dr. Tank PharmD here, board certified practicing pharmacist and personal health coach, helping action takers like you take back control of their lives and emotional health. And although I am a practicing medicine specialist, I'm not your specialist. So if you have any questions regarding your condition, please see your doctor. Before we get into it, if you could click like and subscribe, it helps me a lot. Thanks guys. Let's get into it. Depression can be very painful, and it's not something you could slap a band-aid on and feel better. We all just want the pain to go away. But the problem with depression is that it doesn't go away that quickly. With modern medicine though, we're able to prescribe medications that help deal with depression. The first question you might be asking is, do these medications work? Well, there's a lot of variation in all our brains. One tiny change means a variation from your brain to your best friend's brain. And even though you like to think you guys think alike and are exactly wired the same, you're not. There's a lot of variation in all our brains. One tiny change can mean a huge difference in how you treat one person and another. Your brain is wired a little differently than your best friend. And that alone could be a huge difference in how you treat the two. In addition, since there are eight classes of these antidepressants, one class may work for your family and we'd have to throw it out for you. There are some people who are naturally born with a deficiency in some brain chemicals. And that means they have a more severe case. In these severe cases, they might benefit a lot from having antidepressant therapy. The biggest downside to these antidepressant medications is how long they take to start working. People expect that when you take medications, they start to kick in right away. For example, if you have a pain medication, it usually kicks in in like 10 or 15 minutes. But with antidepressants, they take a lot longer. There's so much variability in how everybody's brain is built that it could take up to four weeks for these medications to kick in. So what does the science say? Science shows that one in every five patients can have a huge benefit from antidepressants. In addition, if you're born with a severe case of an imbalance in your brain, antidepressants can have a huge benefit for you. But if you stop taking these medications, it shows that one in four patients have a relapse and start getting depressed again. And if it goes for long enough, it could take another four weeks for these medications to kick in. How do these antidepressants work? Well, in order to talk about that, we need to step back and talk about how your brain works first. Your brain is composed of a lot of locks, and once opened, these locks called receptors trigger certain mechanisms in your brain to do things. These locks can be opened up by keys called neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters send the messages through the brain. Now, these certain keys are very powerful because they have strong effects in your brain. Some of them can make you feel really good. And some of them can actually make you feel worse because it counters the effect of the really good ones. So what it does is it balances out the two systems. There's another system too that balances out your brain chemicals by getting rid of all the extra keys. So how do antidepressants work though? The way they work is they either make more copies of the keys or they pick the locks in your brain or they stop the brain from getting rid of all the extra keys. One thing to keep in mind is that even though these systems functionally work in the brain, there's no guarantee that you actually feel better. The only way that your professional would know is if you told them. So what are the side effects of these medications? Because the medications take so long to work, it's hard to really gauge if the side effects are due to the medication. But one big thing they know for sure is that teenagers taking these medications have a severe risk of being suicidal. So if you're a teenager taking these medications, you have to be professionally monitored. Because these medications are psychiatric medications, they affect the brain. And a lot of the side effects come from the brain. You get dizziness, you get insomnia, you get headaches, and you also get disturbances in your sexual mood. A lot of common side effects also include digestion issues. One thing to keep in mind though is because these medications take so long to work, when they start activating, it's hard to tell if you're feeling better because of the medication. So a lot of people, once they feel better taking the medicine, they stop taking it because they realize I'm feeling better, so I must not need it. When in fact, it's wrong to stop taking it on your own. The only way to stop taking these medications is to tell your professional and they could slowly take you off of it. 
So should you start taking these medications? Well, you have to balance a couple of issues here. A therapist is able to help you deal with things immediately. Because these medications take so long to work, you're gonna need something in the meantime to help you deal with these issues. And that's what you need to consider is, are you seeing a therapist or are you thinking about seeing one? Another thing to consider is, because there are so many classes of these medications, the first medication might not work for you. So you might have to go through the entire eight classes of medications to find the one that works for you. In addition, one medication just might not be enough. You might need three or four combinations of different classes in order to feel better. So the ultimate question is, can you recover from depression without medication? As we talked about, there are options that help you recover without medication, including therapy. For myself, when I was struggling with depression, I realized that it wasn't severe enough that I needed medication. In addition, I was an action-oriented mindset, so I wanted to recover from it myself, but I didn't have the tools. That's why I came up with the Emotional RX program that helps you deal with your emotions in the moment so that you don't make decisions that you'll regret for the rest of your life. What do you guys think? Has this video been helpful to you? Let me know in the comments below. If you're struggling to take back emotional help, there are three common mistakes that people make. Check it out in the free ebook link below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, be healthy.